Subscribe man. Manchester United 2 Bright and new and I'm gonna get this one started off today CM first of all I want to thank everybody who came by the twitch stream yesterday it was my first full <laughs> official watch along and I, I enjoyed every bit of it so big up to everybody who joined you know said something in the chat or lurked contributed gave you know gave some bits to the channel followed subscribed to the channel shout out to everybody who came by to that manchester united versus brighton watch along and it made it even a bit better that manchester united ended up getting a win but yeah man much appreciated on this video as well be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new share us to another dimension share the community share the twin share everybody to another dimension and yeah man just keep on spreading the word i think mean, one of our twitch mods nicks in a mix announced that you know the person who has the best promotion of cm22 ent that could be the just everything as a whole the youtube the twitch the socials will be able to get you know some gifted subs or stuff like that on twitch so please do get involved do get involved in the community and start promoting and just spreading the word spread mm -hmm. the word come on but yeah man let me get into manchester united i thought um on my perspective the, <laughs> the first up performance it was pitiful and it's been quite a contrast considering that you know in the past few games we've actually played very well yeah. in the first half so i was surprised i thought brian they came out and they meant business they, they they instantly looked to control the tempo of the game they were passing it about with confidence and manchester united didn't look aggressive at all we didn't press we didn't show intent to try and put Brighton under pressure. And for that whole half, really, they were confident yeah. on the ball. They were comfortable. And, you know, obviously I didn't listen to the crowd sounds, but I would have imagined the frustration in and, and almost the anxiousness in the, in the voices of the fans because you don't want to be at Old Trafford and the other team... You know, all respect to Brighton and Hope Albion, but this is Manchester United Football Club at Old Trafford. They should not be coming here feeling accomplished and confident and, and bossing the game. That should never, ever be happening. So on that part, is it extremely poor. And we should have been better. No of doubt. course, we had some chances, but they were on the counter-attack. Like, our chance creation in terms of possession and keeping the ball, it was non-existent. We couldn't keep the ball at all. The, the quality of passing, we took too long on the ball. You know, too many touches, a lack of movement, fluidity and pace as a whole from the Manchester United team contributed to such a poor half. And in the second half, we were a little bit better. We were a little bit better. Um, for when Paul Pogba came on later in the game, he, he showed his quality. Obviously, he didn't get too involved. But, you know, the second half as a whole, once again, it wasn't amazing. We were able to get the goals um, based off of Brighton mistakes, really. Um, first goal coming with Cristiano Ronaldo, fantastic strike. But, you know, Basuma, who really didn't step a foot wrong in the game up until that point, you know, Diddy Daddy's on the ball and <laughs> takes too long on it. He gets caught in possession. The ball bounces out to Cristiano Ronaldo. He drives, takes a little you know, detour onto the right side and just strikes it before a defender reacts, before Sanchez, Brighton's keeper, can react at all. Brilliant strike and he's finally broken that duct of him not being able to score in consecutive games. The longest did this career since whatever. <laughs> but yeah, man, and, and the second goal, obviously Brighton were pressing high, looking for that equaliser and we got the free kick. Paul Pogba, good heads up play, taking Thanks. a quick free kick. Bruno Fernandes running through on the right. Ronaldo was up there with him, but Bruno Fernandes has the composure to fake it, sit down the keeper and slap it in the back of the net. And that is game over. Overall, happy with the result because we needed it. Of mm -hmm. course we needed a result. But I think uh, there's still a lot to work on. I know CM over there is going to touch on that in the next segment, but that was a big win. And we're back in the top four for now. Of course, teams below us like Arsenal, Tottenham, uh, Wolves have games in hand. 
but we have to look at the games that we have <laughs> instead of focusing on the other teams right now and we have to deal with the games that we have next is Leeds on Sunday we need to get three points in that game as well it's crucial for many reasons but most importantly in that race for top four if we're really serious about it because everything else is gone now we're not in the FA Cup we are in the Champions League and you know we're gonna try and do a watch along for that on Wednesday so look out for that Atletico Madrid in the Champions League but winning that there's still a long way to go and we're definitely not the favourites so it's going to take a lot of luck and, and a change in mentality and, and performances in order for us to win that competition and trust me that will be some sort of great achievement for Ralph Rangnick and the players because right now I don't see any of it but for now we need to deal with the games that we have ahead of us right now is focusing on Leeds United. Yes, people, big up everybody watching. Big up Cappy once again for the watch along the settings. Let's all give him a five seconds applause. All right, that's enough. <laughs> but listen, um, I echo a lot of the things that Cappy said about the game. I do agree. I thought that uh, me watching the game personally, I wasn't impressed by the team's overall performance, and that needs to improve. I think that's the most important thing for us now seeing the development in our performances um i can see why cappy said yo as long as we got the three points tonight that's all that matters but for me i want to see the bigger picture i want to see a project and at this moment of time of course there have been subtle improvements in the way manchester united have played and we've been disappointed with the fact that they've dipped completely but that's due to performance levels as well mentality all of that stuff <sighs> And to be fair, if you're really speaking about today, I love the win. But it's a drop back down because we didn't even play good for a half today. So what does that say? Of course, we won the game, but we have to be wary how we won this game. Brighton mistake. They go down to 10 men. They push up late on in the pitch trying to find that equaliser and they got caught. They get caught. So it was two goals where, of course, we exploited their mistakes mm -hmm. and we were crucial in those it's two good. moments. But they were very lucky. We were very lucky to get those opportunities in the first place. I would love to see a Manchester United team that is able to create their own chances and really carve apart any team, regardless of the situation, whether it's 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You know what I mean? In terms of the men on the pitch, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I would, I'm, I know, I hate to, to you know, do these comparisons, but I watch team, a team at Man City. Don't get fooled by their tiki taka team, yeah? Manchester City try and score guaranteed goals. They don't have a lot of these pop shots, so they don't try to settle for these outside long shots all of them things there they try and exploit the team that they're playing pass through them have fluid fluidity in the front line the movement quick passing players don't spend a long time on the ball they dictate the tempo of the game whether they're home or away and that's what manchester united need to transform into doing i'm not yeah. saying they need to turn into manchester city oh. but i'm just saying they need to have a bit of, you know what I mean? A bit of passag about them. A bit of passag. Be aggressive. Take it personal. Passag. For me, if I see Brighton coming to our home and trying to boss the game, I'm saying, nah, this can't run. It's time for us to up it. And we need to put pressure upon them. So that's why I want to see Manchester United being, being confident in in their abilities and right now mm. of course i know a lot of you guys and girls will say some of the players on the pitch just don't have the ability to do that and fair enough but and it is a big but how can you install that mentality into their minds they may not have the physical abilities on the pitch but you can have the mental ability to be aggressive to fight mm. for every last possession I Fight agree. for the first ball, the second and the third. Make sure that nobody has a chance of getting that football other than you. Yeah. That is something that needs to be installed up there for it to work down there on the football pitch with your feet. So, once again, we got the win. Happy about that. But, it's a big but 
performances must improve. Must. Yeah. Because top four, yeah, we're back in the top four. But, and once again, that is a big but. It could all go down with a snap of a finger like Thanos. So Manchester United need to get their head screwed on. They need to start focusing and they need to find ways of how their performances can improve to the point where they're making it easier for themselves. Because mm -hmm. at, at this moment of time, I'm just seeing overcomplicating football. Um, overcomplicated football for no damn reason. <laughs> We're playing long balls where we constantly give away the ball. Just keep it on the floor. Pass it quickly. Have some movement ahead of you. And that improve, includes, sorry, the midfield and the forwarders. That forward line is very important. Can we get yeah. some fluidity there? A bit of movement, maybe position changes from time to time. One coming deep, the other one advancing. Just dragging defenders out of position. Right now it's lackadaisical and it's lazy, dare I say. And we wonder why we cannot create chances or a lot of chances at least on our own accord has to be better in my opinion and maybe i'm being a bit harsh cappy will tell me after this or, or you know maybe i'm being harsh but it's just my opinion because i want to see the best for this club i know I, you yeah. guys and girls want to see the best also cappy wants to see the best for manchester united but what we can't do is keep on getting high and then going back down to rock bottom when things happen. We have to stay level-headed and see what this project is for what this club mm. really is. Mm. Right now, I'm not optimistic about the development of this team, just like I'm not optimistic about the way this club is run. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, listen, once again, on to Leeds on Sunday. Then we'll have Atletico Madrid in the Champions League first leg, of course. Two big games and a big week ahead. Can Manchester United get it done? Let us know in the comment section below and we will find out in due time. But everybody, please, please, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Once again, thank you for supporting Cappy on the first full stay United watch along for Manchester United against Brighton. We'll be back on Sunday with the United Twins reviewing that game. Hopefully it's another win for Manchester United. So be sure to drop a like, subscribe to CM22 ENT and share the Twins to another dimension. Grow this community and you can be a part of it too. So please, please, please have a blessed rest of that day and a productive day tomorrow. And we'll see you lots in a bit. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rape you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.